Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's Journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio and today is the final game of Season 3. There is no way we can move from 7th place. We also have 7 wins, 7 draws, and 7 losses. We like the number 7 here, apparently. Uh, and in today, one of those numbers is going to turn to 8 as we take on Little Rock. And this game matters more to Little Rock than it does to us, because they could still slip behind Hartford with a loss against us and a Hartford win. They also could conceivably get into first place if they win and, or draw and Louisville or Topeka loses. But that's not our concern. Today, we're going to see a new player take the field. Clay. I've been trying to figure out what to do with this man, and I think I finally figured it out. Clay is going to play goalkeeper. Hodges is only 30. He was... He was one of our youngest players, so he's going to be around for a good long while. But, we got to make sure that we have a plan in place afterwards. So Clay is going to play goalie for this game, and we'll see how he does. On the other side, we got Scruggs, who is going to be taken out for this game, and that means that last game was Scruggs' last with the team. He turns 34 in August. I believe we come back in the month of August. So we're going to sell him. And that means we're going to have to figure out what to do with this back because we've had Scruggs a long time. Our sweeper, very helpful against the cannon shots and even break-ins of other teams. But we need a chance... to move on here. Now, let's take a look at their setup. They do have Downs, who has Cannon Shot, but he's right in the middle, so it's more difficult for them to take advantage of that. Thompson and Bowles, though, are still going to be dangerous. They've got Kinney, and they've got Rita. And, yeah. They... Do not have a center defender at all on their team, which makes them very vulnerable to O'Donnell as the right wing forward and Calvert if we decide to bring him in. But I also want to get people a chance like Greer, Yancey, Thornton, and Clay to really play. But here we go. The final game of the season, Manchester versus Little Rock. It really doesn't matter all that much, but it's a chance to keep developing these young players. Yancey is going to try and build on a really good game he had last time. And, oh, so the left defender actually does block us from getting that break-in. And so Donald's just going to hold this one and try and keep it from Denny and John. He can't keep it. John takes it away. And John dribbles past O'Donnell. And then just moves off to the side. It is always helpful to have our defending midfielder here. Thacker will press. Bowers will fail at the tackle. John will pass to Heredia, and he passes to Thompson. Thompson has the nutmeg skill, and he gets by. Thompson on goal, Clay's first chance, and it is a goal for Little Rock. Clay couldn't save it. I I'm surprised. He's, he's just a 19-year-old kid who hasn't ever played who hasn't played this before. I, I just don't understand why he could possibly 
right there. And they're bringing over bulls for this. They're bringing over bulls. And it is not successful. Uh, we do have a press now. Man, that is... That is strange. So we're going to pass back to Thacker. Thacker is going to pass over to Yancey, and Yancey is going to hold this one. That press really messed us up. And he's going to press and give Kinney a chance. Oh, no, Kinney is pressing as well. And Thompson comes up to take it away. But that took up all of their actions, so. Now, and Bull Bowers is not doing his best here. He manages to take it, but now he's just going to hold this one. We get two presses, and now Thompson goes for the tackle, and it is not successful. What are they going to do with it now? Nothing. O'Donnell is going to move up. And he's going to go for the unlikely cannon shot, and he ties the game! O'Donnell! with the unlikely goal to tie the game. And the pass does get by to Thompson. Thompson moves off to the side and gets it taken away by Tompkins. Tompkins versus Thompson. Battle of the Toms. Hmm. Yancey is going to move out to the side and hold this one. Maybe we can attack with Greer on the next turn. And get a press. Kenny gets a press and now they're gonna bring over Bulls. Indeed they are. And he doesn't even bother with the slide tackle. Olsen's going to come over to try and take this one away, and Olsen does! What are they going to do with their final few actions? The presses, of course, and the tackle by Bulls. They're probably going to be able to get a shot off, but it's not necessarily going to be a great one. Downs goes for the shot, and Thornton kicks that away. And that is halftime with Manchester and Little Rock tied one to one. We have controlled possession pretty decisively so far. And I guess we'd run into the same problem with Barkley on the other side, but kinda wanna just get Greer over and get him the ball to get more specialization points. I believe Thornton is our player who's closest to getting an actual specialization, but I don't think that's going to happen today. And intercepted by Bowers. Kenny presses. Bulls? No, they're bringing over Barkley to take this away. And he barely does. <laughs> Come on, Yancey. Yes, Yancey takes it away. Nah, we're gonna give Calvert a chance to get a potential win for us. Villanueva does take it away, though. And he will just settle there. Olsen goes for the tackle. Can't get it. But we will 
bring over Bowers to make it very difficult for him to pass or move past us. Denny moves into the middle. John moves into the middle. Bowers is just going to take this away. Bowers could go for the shot. It's not likely to succeed, though. Villanueva goes for the tackle, can't get it, and he's not motivated, so that's going to end his turn there. Calvert is just going to move into the box. Could go for the cannon shot. And that's what he's going to do, and Calvert finishes this, putting Manchester up 2-1. to one. Could we actually win this? That would be incredible. Bowers, definitely looking like the man of the match at the moment. And he manages to keep it from downs. And that will end... That? Greer. Gets the ball and is going to go for the very unlikely shot. And Greer scored! I don't believe it. Greer has his first goal as a Manchester member to put us up 3-1. to one. Yeah, celebrate, Tompkins. And start kicking it off. Person with the exact same haircut as Tompkins. This time, the ball does get past Thompson. Goes for the shot, and Tompkins kicks it over to Thornton. Thornton keeps the ball and is fouled. I don't quite know what to do with Thornton here, though. Uh, he's just going to go with a lofted pass towards Thacker. Thacker comes up, and Thacker is just going to hold this one as we try and run out the clock on one of our most unlikely wins since that game against uh, Baton Rouge, probably. And up comes John, and John easily takes it away. And we're going to get a press from Thacker to give Bowers a really good chance. And Greer is going to get the ball, and is just going to hold this one. He does get a press. Now Denny tries to take it away, but Greer is having none of it. No one can touch him. Well, maybe Witherspoon. Yep, Witherspoon takes it away. So we're going to get a press. And Greer will go for the tackle. Greer gets it. Greer could go for the pass, but Greer wants a second goal. Again, very unlikely. He's going to go for the power shot this time. And it's knocked away right back to him by Denny. And now Little Rock is down to their final actions. Denny takes it away from Greer. Moves out to the corner, and that will end Season 3. Manchester with a huge win. 3-1. to one. Maybe we should have put Clay in goal earlier. Man, that was not the result I expected. Manchester defeats Little Rock 3-1 to one in the final game. Bowers, O'Donnell, and Yancey are our men of the match. Well deserved. Uh, I'm a bit surprised by O'Donnell, though. I don't think he did all that much. And Thornton got really close to upgrading. And look at that. 30 points for Greer. Only 8 for Clay. He didn't do much in goal. Uh, and Yancey got another 21. They're all only a few games away from getting those upgrades, but that will have to wait for next season. We got 14 glory and 16 fans 
for that victory. And Newark beat Anchorage 3-2. Hartford did manage to beat Louisville 4-3. And Topeka beat Boise. So I believe Topeka has won the league. Baton Rouge beat Augusta 4-2. Montpelier beat Billings 2-1. And that leaves us in 7th place with 31 points, 8 wins, 7 draws, 7 losses, 33 goals, 4. Which is uh, the 5th worst in the league and 29 goals against which is the best in the league for our leaders we got no one for goals we got two players who scored more goals by themselves than we did the entire season no one for assists for tackles Bowers is in fourth place and Shader is tied for sixth Hodges didn't play in the final game, but he did keep his fifth place part there. And so we will advance to the next season here. Oh, I probably should have looked at the tables. I'm going to look at the table. Oop, got an achievement there. Anyways, uh, Topeka did indeed win the league. Louisville got second at Hartford. Us beating Little Rock with our amateur players knocked them out of promotion. Oh man, they are going to want revenge next season. I, that is a great storyline. Uh, Jackson, Columbia, and Montgomery are coming up. Coming down, Birmingham. Madison did manage to stay up, so Birmingham, San, San Jose, and Concord are going to be coming down to meet us. Uh, Shader has finally finished Long Pass, so he is now level 3 on Long Pass. Okay. Uh, I'm going to rearrange stuff so it's our usual lineup in here. Yeah, so that's... Well... That's the usual lineup, but we got a good amount of upgrades and skills for our players. Look at that, Yancey, really progressing well. Let's choose a sponsor. We got rank 7 in the league, we got round of 16 for the Liberty Cup, we were so close to getting further than that. Bauer, Shedder, O'Donnell was 9th rank in the Liberty Cup for tackles? Didn't expect that. Anyway, new season. Promoted to next league is something I think we can do. And then goals, well, we're not great with the goals, but that's what we're going for. Uh -huh. Oh, we signed Ott, level 9 player. Some of our player contracts are expiring soon. We got the transfer wi window. We got the Liberty Cup there. Uh-huh. Let's take a look. Our contract ones. We got Calvert. We got Olsen. We got Osborne. We got Thornton. We got Yancey. We've got plenty of money. Even even for Calvert, who's going to be the most expensive, we've got plenty of money. Especially once we give up Scruggs. Uh, although it's only July, so we could conceivably keep Scruggs until... Uh, basically after the Anchorage game. So, we are going to be proving ourselves in Season 4 to start against Newark. Let's look at these transfers. Uh, some fairly solid players are along there, but Todd is the only one that I would actually look at getting. Birmingham. Anyways. That is the team. Who's... Shanner is worth 447,000. That, that's that level 3 skill. Oh, Long Pass sends the ball 3 to 5 tiles away. I think that... So I did do the update on the beta, so this is... Uh, seems like the text hasn't updated. So, just something to maybe mention there. Uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't look at Ott. Ott. Is solid player, not 
too much to say about him. He's 17, already level 9. Very good. We'll have to figure out a role for him, especially since we only just figured out a role for Clay. We are so young in our bench players here. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed our unexpected victory there and are ready for us to try and compete for... Ah, there's the history. For promotion to the second league. We finished third to get promotion in the amateur league, then finished sixth in the third league, moved out to seventh the next season. This time, I think we're looking... We're looking higher against our opponents. Uh, our main opponents are going to be these six ahead of us. Concord, San Jose, Birmingham, Little Rock, Newark, and Anchorage. But I think we can challenge them. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like if you did. Comment below any thoughts on the win today or the season moving forward. Especially if you have ideas on how to set up our defense now that... We're not going to have a sweeper very soon. And subscribe for more Manchester content and other video game content if you want to check out my other stuff. Have a great day, and happy gaming.